we wrapped up our first full day with uh, what we call fire words, where our young authors have the opportunity to kind of read some of their work out loud around the fire. And this is a really special time for everyone to have the chance to share uh, some of their work in a, a perfect setting, surrounded by new friends who love to write nestled in the wilderness of northern Michigan. Day two of Author Quest is the first full day of camp. We begin our day with uh, some morning stretches at 7.45, breakfast at 8, then a brief rundown of some of the day's activities, and we jump right into a 90-minute write shop. And this is the unique thing about the instructional programs is that students will learn very diverse tactics from four separate teachers, and I think it's really important that all of our young authors have the opportunity to experience different techniques in a small classroom setting. A unique aspect of AuthorQuest is the fact that those who attend really, they don't know exactly what's going to come next. Some of our returning campers, you know, they have a little bit of an idea, but each day is filled with you know, different twists and turns and different surprises for everyone. One of those events today was a visit from uh, Rebecca Lassard and Wings of Wonder. Rebecca is a raptor specialist and rehabilitationist. And today she brought an American kestrel, a great horned owl, and a turkey vulture. And this is a really exciting program for everyone. And allows us all to, uh, you know, kind of experience a part of our natural world up close in ways that, uh, for the most part, um, we would never otherwise have the opportunity. The rest of the day spent in various mini workshops that included cartooning, creating crazy characters for stories, uh, becoming a better reader out loud, learning to record audio books, a really cool obstacle course, a hike, and uh, working with illusions in writing. And even with these many activities, we still allow for um, a lot of individual writing time. And these kids really seem to thrive. It's, it's great to read some of their stories and current projects. Every year, I am amazed at the caliber of writers that are attending AuthorQuest. Um, because of the application process, we, we kind of know, you know, we're getting some fine young authors, but during their time at camp, they really impressed us, and today was no exception. Once again, we wrapped up our day with fire words, and I don't think Harry Houdini himself could pull off the magic that we all feel gathered around the fire listening to the works of our young authors. A perfect all-around day, and uh, we are very excited about day three. <laughs>